so before going ahead we will have a quick overview of this data normalization in data mining okay uh, now let us see example uh, first we will see what is normalization it is used to scale the data of attributes so that it falls in the smaller range such as uh, such as uh, 1 point, uh, minus 1.0 to 1 or 0 0.0 to 1. Uh, so this is generally used in a classification algorithm. Uh, uh, let's see why do we need a uh, normalization. Normalization is generally required when we are dealing with the attributes on a different scale. Otherwise, it may lead to the dilution in the effectiveness of the important, equally important attributes also. We will see the example also, uh, over here. Uh, first, uh, say that when multiple attributes are there, uh, but attributes have values on the different scales. This may lead to the poor data models which performing data mining operations. So this is my, uh, you can see here I have person name, salary, year of experience, expected position level. The attribute salary and year of experience are on a different scale. You can see here uh, it is on the scale of thousands and this year of experience is in the single digits. Hence, the attribute salary can take a high priority over attribute year of experience in the model and which is not good because salary should also have the same weightage as the year of experience. So, there are few methods of the data normalization. The first method is a decimal scaling. Then we have mean max normalization, Z score normalization. This is related to the theory part of this data normalization. So, we will have a quick overview of how, what these methods are. So, first is decimal scaling. So, here I do on the basis of this 10, correct? So, normalize is by moving the decimal point of values of a data. To normalize the data by this technique, we divide each value of a data by maximum absolute value of a data, correct? Uh, so, uh, just an example. So, this is my input data 10, 201, 301, minus 401, 501, 601 and 701. Now, the maximum absolute value in the data is kya hai iska? 701. So, what we will do? We will divide the given value by 1000. Since this is 701, so 10 k base pe iska uh, divisor lenge hamlo. So, the normalized data on the scale of this 1000 is 0 0.01, 0 0.201, 0 0.301, minus 0 0.401, and like this. So, ye kya hai? this is my decimal scaling normalization please remember decimal scaling normalization uh, isme kya karte hum log ki data ko arrange karte uska maximum value lete hai and then we check uh, what is the nearest scale on the basis of decimal for the maximum value so suppose 701 hai to nearest scale kya tha 1000 tha right so complete data will be divided by this 1000 and then we will get a normalized data ab dekho ye mean max normalization method kya hai a mean max normalization method may uh, we take a minimum and maximum that is the range of the value and then divide it with the uh, with again a uh, range right so this is what is the formula for this mean max we will look this in clear in theory also and then we have this z score normalization so these are three methods for the normalization and we will go back to our example okay so let's go to the example for this. So we use pandas for this. Uh, pandas and then uh, the, uh, this numpy library also. So first what we do, we import the data uh, in the pandas. Uh, then we use the techniques to normalize the data. Correct. Uh, so let me uh, have some examples over here. Go back and have. Okay. So here I have a data frame. Uh, so this is sort of a data frame. I have this column A, B, C, D, and let's see this data. What is this all data is about? So let me execute the data and then we will see the analysis of a data. So let me execute it. Okay, so here in the uh, column one, I have uh, values on the scale of lakhs. Uh, column two is on the scale of hundreds. Column C is in scale of tens, and column D is in the scale of thousand. Now I want to normalize the data. Before normalizing the data, we will uh, try to see the plotting of the data. Okay, 
so for the plotting we have seen this mat uh, plot lib library is used to plot the data on the graphical basis so let me plot the data here okay so i plotted the data here you all can see that uh, the data is ranging uh, in a in a variety of a manner why uh, see here now tell me all the bars are of blue color right it means that only column a bars are displayed right and uh, this column b c d bars are not at all displayed the reason behind this is because column a is on the scale of lakhs and the remaining columns are on the scale of 100 or tens or thousands so uh, so it is not possible to plot they on the same graph and we are not able to analyze the values of the given data set properly here we can see only the value of one of the parameter we need to know the values of remaining parameters also right for a given data set say my data set is a patient's data set correct and i have the properties related to patient like a uh, heart rate bp age weight and like this so say those are column a column b column c column d so what i am trying to say कि मेरा कंप्लीट डेटा जो है उसके फीचर्स दिए अलग अलग कॉलम ए कॉलम बी कॉलम सी में एंड आई वांट टू एनालाइज अ कंप्लीट डेटा एज इट इज ऐसे एक एक फीचर को एनालाइज नहीं करना है मुझे मुझे कंप्लीट डेटा को एनालाइज करना है एंड फॉर सेम पर्पस आई एम सपोज टू गेट द डेटा प्लॉटेड ऑन द ग्राफ बट वेन आई ट्राई टू प्लॉट द डेटा ऑन द ग्राफ माई स्केल्स आर डिफरेंट right and that's the reason i want to do the normalization of a data i hope you understood this so now let's see uh, if i want to do the normalization by using the maximum absolute scaling now this maximum absolute scaling rescales each feature between minus 1 and 1 by dividing every observation by its maximum absolute value So the same what I said uh, in the previous, we have seen that uh, we are doing the decimal scaling. So maximum absolute value ko ham divide karenge har ek observation ko, right? So we can apply the maximum absolute scaling in the pandas using dot max or dot abs methods, correct? So let me uh, do this. You all can see it here. So suppose I go to this code part, and what I'm doing? See this particular DF. ये जो DF था, ये पूरा data frame था. I have copied it to the another uh, frame, so this, which is my DF max scaled frame. And then now I am applying this normalization technique. So what I'm doing for columns? ये जो columns है सारे, right? ये जो columns है A, B, C, D. For each column. i will be doing df max scaled column divided by absolute and max of that particular column correct so her column ka value mujhe us column ke max ka jo absolute value hai usse divide karenge correct so now let me uh, see what are these values are coming correct so you can see here iska value kya aaya 0.5 now how it is has come so let's go back to our data ab mujhe batao iska max value kaun sa hai Two, three, four times zero, right? Like two lakhs thirty thousand, correct? So what I will do? I will take a maximum value of this and the absolute of it, and every value is getting divided with it, correct? So uh, no, no, sorry, the it like maximum value is three six uh, four times zero. That is three lakhs sixty thousand, correct? So ये मेरा maximum value है. राइट उसका एब्सोल्यूट तो कुछ नहीं लेना है बिकॉज नथिंग इज इन फ्रैक्शन ओवर इयर एवरीथिंग इज अ होल नंबर सो थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड इज माई मैक्सिमम वैल्यू एंड आई विल बी डिवाइडिंग एवरी वैल्यू बाय दिस थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड सो वन लैक एटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड क्या आ जाएगा पॉइंट फाइव राइट है ना अठारह दुनिया छत्तीस राइट एटीन टू जर थर्टी सिक्स देन आई हैव थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री लैक्स सिक्सटी थाउजेंड दैट विल कम एज वन Then two point two lakh thirty thousand divided by three lakh sixty thousand that come came as point six three eight eight. Similarly, last value sixty thousand which is divided again by three lakh sixty thousand which comes as zero point one one six six. Similarly, if I go to column B, the maximum value is nine zero five. Correct. So again, hundred and ten divided by nine zero five, nine zero five divided by nine zero five, two thirty divided by nine zero five, and four fifty divided by nine zero five. So these are all those values. So what we are doing, we are converting all the values on a single scale of one. Correct. 
zero to one. All the values are getting divided on the skin single scale from zero to one. Am I right? Am I okay? All of you there with me? So all the values are divided on the scale of zero to one. so that it will be easy for me to analyze a complete data set and compare with each other correct and now if i try to plot this we can see that we will be able to plot this uh, so let me go to the code and so i am plotting see here are you able to see all the values here so now it is easy for me to analyze what i can say whatever plot this is i can say that uh, this um uh, a uh, row number 1 correct having the maximum values as compared to remaining say these are the marks of the students of the different subjects out of uh, jinka denominator alag alag hai say mera maths ka exam out of lakhs hai english ka exam out of 100 tha history ka exam mera out of 10 hi tha and geography ka exam mera out of 1000 tha correct and these are all marks given so ye zero uh, roll number 0 ke marks hai roll number 1 ke 2 ke and 3 ke right say column a is maths column b is history geography and say <coughs> science right ab alag alag paper ke marks alag alag scale pe ek paper mere ek paper mein 1 lakh questions the ya uske total marks 1 lakh the ek paper ke total marks 1000 the ek paper ke 100 the ek paper ke 10 hi the right so out of marks mere alag alag hai har ek paper ke what i am trying to do i want to analyze each student like who is best so when i do this i when i plot it graphically in one glance i should know who is the best student so I, here i have plotted it graphically and within a single glance i can say that student a is the best performance because student a has got best marks in all the subjects right so this is how this normalization helps me for analyzing of a data correct right? so I, we have done only one single method of normalization and which helped us for analyzing the data